Hi guys, this is the Piano Guy Potato, and first of all, I have to thank you for reaching 800 subscribers. It's been quite a long time since I hit 700 subscribers, so this new milestone certainly is timely. So, it's great that I've reached it, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's get into this really short video. So, um, I'm gonna use this stuff. Oh, they added a new MG3KWS. Alright, let's use that then. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, this looks sick. Okay, so it's a rank 101 gun. Um, seems, seems cool. One thing that certainly, uh, lets, uh, that certainly catches my eye is the fire rate of 1000. Like, that is a huge fire rate. So let's see how that goes. So basically, this is like a holy shit. The recoil is just horrible. So basically, what this gun is is the new machine gun in Phantom Forces. I don't know what it's like, but okay. Whoa! Shield. Okay, double kill. So anyway, um, it's very unstable as you can see there. But if you n figure out how to control the recoil and you can like, if you somehow know where to know how to get your bullets where they, where you want them to go then this gun is awesome so basically uh the recoil isn't that hard to control actually it just takes a bit of time to get used to it oh god okay well the fire rate is 1000 which means it's like it's way faster than the m60 uh, basically it's it, it runs out of ammo so fast even though it's got 300 bullets in the magazine but it still runs out really fast and Unlike the M60, which has 100 bullets in the magazine, I only have 50. So that's like 3.3 uh, times the fire rate and half the magazine size. Altogether, there is a 6.66 reduction in time that you can shoot. That's not good. But it kind of pays off when you realize that this gun is, I think it's more powerful and it's faster and it's like it's more OP definitely also it's unlocked at a super high rank 101 and there has to be a reason for that and honestly I do prefer this gun over the M60 simply because of its sheer power it's just so OP I'm not even trying right now and I'm, and I'm already having a KDR4 this is just so insane so even though uh, the fire rate and the magazine signs are really bad this is just I don't even know how to describe the power of this. Oh, this guy's using it too. He bought his MG, MG3KWS, didn't he? Because at, at, at rank 75, you can't get that gun. It's, it's a rank 101 thing. This gun shoots so fast, I think it's got a really good time to kill. Much better than the M60. So, it... I think it would be reasonable to say that I could try doing trick shots with this gun. I could try. Next match is Crane Sight, so I guess I'm I, I'm I'm gonna give that a shot. Okay, so yeah, next match I'm gonna try hit a couple of trick shots with this gun. Oh god, how did that not kill him? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's talk about the looks of this gun, okay? First impressions, it looks rubbish. Like, it's... I mean, the shape it, of it isn't too bad, but I feel that Stylist Studios could have put a lot more effort into the shading, the coloring of it. Like, it seems very monotone. And the... The default skin of this gun is something that I feel isn't very high quality. And that certainly is something bad about this gun. But, of course, I honestly, I don't think we should judge guns by their looks. And this gun is just too OP to pass. Um, so, first thoughts, I think, if you have enough credits to buy this gun, buy it. Because this gun is, honestly, the power blows me away. I've never used it before, but let me just say that you have to use it. It's gonna increase your KDR so much, you won't even know. 
but you might also lose a lot of friends because um, you're gonna be killing a lot of people in this. but if you, if you have no friends or if you don't care about friends then buy this gun by all means this gun is just I can't, I, I, can't, I, I can't exaggerate it more or rather I can't express it well enough I just have to say that this gun is probably the best gun in the whole game as of now honestly I've got a bad feeling that Stylist Studios is gonna nerf this gun in the near future because it is so powerful I think it's the fastest time to kill I think this gun is the fastest time to kill in the game I'm not sure but that's what it feels like uh, and I think and anyone in their right mind would nerf this gun pretty quickly but right now let's just enjoy it before it gets nerfed and the reload time is very long that's another thing that I don't like about this gun but it's not as bad as the M60 I, I guess it's tolerable oh my god just now I said the recoil was bad but honestly I think it's easy to control once you figure out how to do it and when you can control this re when you can control the recall this thing is an absolute beast it is an absolute beast so uh, let's look at the statistics uh, it says I've got zero kills on it I don't know why but as you can see the fire rate is really damn good the damage drop off is pretty mediocre but who cares because the fire rate is awesome the accuracy is fine nothing much uh, the damage is actually particularly pretty cool 38 21 mm. which means you, 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 can, oh, you can always kill in five shots every single time and a thousand a thousand rounds per minute uh, that's really good so yeah I think it's got a really fast kill time uh, I can't be bothered to calculate exactly how long it takes to kill but you you, uh, you guys can do the math yourselves what I'm just gonna say is that the statistics really prove that this gun is awesome and with that, I think I'll end off the video here. Thanks for watching, and be sure to use this gun. Um, buy it with credits. Use up your credits and buy this gun, because this gun is worth every single credit. And I'm out. Peace.